I'm back! Sorry for being gone for so long, everyone. I did land a job temporarily doing income tax. Got a little busy, got a lot of schooling to do because of that. A lot of clients, and I just had no time to make any videos. But now that the Canadian tax season is done, I can now go back and focus on uh, making vi these videos. So first off, let's talk about the uh, season finale of Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. That's right, Ghost Rider is back with a vengeance. As many of you have known, or if you haven't seen this, this is a spoiler alert, Ghost Rider did come back, and the Ghost Rider entity went into Phil Coulson. Yes, Ghost Rider did eventually uh, merge back with Robbie Reyes. But the interesting thing is that Ro uh, Robbie Reyes took the Darkhold. Now, Many are, are commenting on the fact that he's able to open up a portal similar to how Doctor Strange has his sling ring. And if you saw the Doctor Strange movie, they are capable of doing this. The funny thing is, what people aren't commenting on is where did Ghost Rider go with the Darkhold? Or Robbie Reyes in this case. If you look very closely, it seems like he's going to some mountainous region a lot of snow but Robbie initially says he's going uh, to go fight continue fighting the war I'm assuming it's some sort of supernatural fight in another another realm which you know that is true but he's also says he's got to take the dark hole to a safe location now this got me thinking where did he take it well if you go back and have a look at the comic books you know that the dark hold and Doctor Strange go hand in hand, very synonymous with each other. In my mind, I think uh, Doc, uh, Ghost Rider actually took it to that monastery where Doctor Strange got his training. I mean, let's face it, they have a whole library of books, uh, mostly books that one should not touch, and the Darkhold would fit right in there. It makes sense to me that Robbie Reyes took the Darkhold and then went to uh, said monastery whose name I just can't remember right now. I'll write it down in the bottom below. Um, and from there, gave it to Wong or whoever was the first person he ran into, and they stored it in that forbidden library. Eventually, Doctor Strange will come, uh, come across it and we'll see what happens. What does this mean for Ghost Rider, though? Well, I have a funny feeling he will be back at some point or in some way or another. Either he'll make it on Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., he could pop up on the new Inhuman show. Cloak and Dagger, that upcoming show is a possibility as De uh, Cloak does uh, connect to the Dark uh, Dimension or the dark, for dark Matter. So there's a possibility there. Uh, there's still talks of Ghost Rider getting his own Netflix series or uh, Agents of Sealed spin-off series. I don't know. The, what we do know is every time Ghost Rider does show up on Agents of Shield, the ratings jump. So the people do like the character. I still have some concerns about this particular Ghost Rider though, as he just doesn't talk. Uh, there's no pen and stare. <sighs> I, 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 I'm not a big fan of the car. I'll be honest with that. Although I would have liked to have seen uh, Ghost Rider Coulson in uh, Hellfire Souped Up Lola. And, you know, the whole outfit that R Robbie Ray is wear, it's very reminiscent of the early Johnny Blaze Ghost Rider. I just don't like it. I'm just not a fan. But that's just my opinion. You're entitled to yours. And I welcome your thoughts on the matter. But that's how it is. You know, I I would like to see more of this Ghost Rider. Uh, I hopefully he evolves. After all, let's remember, even though I said he doesn't talk, the Danny Ketch Ghost Rider didn't really talk or only had a couple words to say at first and it wasn't until much later that he developed a full vocabulary. So, we just have to wait and see. I really hope we get to see more of Ghost Rider. I hope he shows up more. I hope he has a bigger impact on the Marvel Cinematic Universe. 
Uh, I sincerely doubt they're just going to let him go. I mean, there's a huge backstory that they left open. I mean, we did see the Johnny Blaze Ghost Rider. When they went, or initially found the Darkhold, there was allusions to the Quentin Carnival and a couple other things out of the Ghost Rider mythos. So we just got to wait and see. Anyways, guys, I got to get going.